Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball. Six box hobby edition. Random team break number five. One spot gets you two teams. No vet common ship. And chase the mantle entry being given away at the end of this break. Big thanks to this group. We're going to use the original 15 names for the giveaway part, but for the break, we got to double you up. Uh, double up. Uh, uh. Like, Sir like, sort of Mix a lot. All 32, all 30 teams are in. There'll be 32 someday. But for now, all 30 teams are in. One and a two, three times for names and teams. One, two, and three. Got DJ down to ML. And then one and a two, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. Giants down to Padres. All right, there's the first half of the list right there. Second half over here. Let's print and rip. Oh, actually, prematurely printed here, but I'm gonna pause the video and allow people the opportunity to trade if they'd like. So stick around, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back to the other side of the trade window. No deals were done. So let's put TWC in the chat. Trade window is closed. Thanks everyone here for making it happen on a Thursday. Appreciate you. David, double last spot mojo with the Orioles and my Dodgers. Pop open this case. Empty box. And we'll roll the die. One, two, three for the left, six, four, five, six for the right. And it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll save these for next time. All right, we're looking for two autographs per box on average. I think on average, or maybe guaranteed. Two autographs per box. Good luck. No deal and the and the damage done, Rex says. What damage what damage has been done? Right, so it's kind of a longer break, so settle in. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll eventually get all of it done. This anti-vaping commercial always uh, always stresses me out. There's this angry kid. She can't find her vape pen. She's yelling at her friends to shut up. The gym teacher's like, what's wrong with you? She goes outside and she's vaping on the school steps. Just gives me a lot of anxiety. I'm just like... Some baseball scores in the. Uh, and I'm ripping open the next box. All right. 
think they're replaying a game I did not catch earlier today, the Italy-Spain game. The Euros are going on, Copa America is going on, a lot of soccer happening. Which is always international soccer, always exciting. Got our first numbered card here to 199. That is Paul DeYoung for the Cardinals. Stephen K with the cards. Got the key Brian Hayes as well. The old school, uh, old school design. Here is. 7 out of 25, Shogo Akiyama. Orange wave, red legs, that'll be for DJ, David, with that one. And there's Mitch White. Autograph, rookie autograph for the Dodgers. David, last spot mojo. Strikes again, 70% of the time, last spot mojo, hit something 100% of the time. It's with Toronto now. And there's our next autograph, and it's Dane Dunning, rookie auto. Dun, 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 dun. White Sox edition. I think he's currently with the Rangers. At 75 out of 150, White Sox, Brian Crouch with the Southsiders. All right, there's our first box. We'll do a autograph and other notable card recap at the end of the break. Go through uh, some baseball scores here. I think most games are over except for the Brewers Padres game. At Rickwood, the uh, famous location, famous old Negro League ballpark, uh, Cardinals beat the Giants 6 to 5. Giants did put some runners on in the top of the ninth to scare the Cardinals a little bit. Orioles, 19 hits, 17 runs. They beat the Yankees 75, 17 to 5 in New York. Um, let's take a quick glance at who is who is doing the damage. Gunnar Henderson went three for five with an RBI. Adley Rushman went three for five, scored three runs. Ryan Mountcastle, three for six, four RBIs. Ryan O'Hearn, two for five, four RBIs. Anthony Santander, two for five, three RBIs. Uh, Westberg. Two for five and an RBI. Cedric Mullins, two for six, two are RBIs in the in the seventh spot. In the eighth spot, Austin Hayes, one for five, two RBIs. He had a homer. I mean. I feel like a lot of these names from top to bottom, like I think I think Mountcastle might be a rookie card in this 2021 set. But man, it's a dangerous looking team. Gunnar Henderson, Adley Rushman, Ryan Mountcastle, Ryan O'Hearn, Anthony Santander, uh, Jordan Westberg, Cedric Mullins, Austin Hayes, Ramon Urias. You know, those are all like familiar names, names that we've seen in a lot of product in recent years, and there are there are they're big leaguers now, you know, crazy.
All right, next box. And autograph popping early here. That's Daniel Johnson for Matt in Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. To $4.99. There's Austin Hayes, Casey Mize to 199, Luis Robert, Casey Mize for Matt and the Tigers. And there's a uh, Umberto Mejia, Chris with the Diamondbacks, second auto. There's Lamina Mall for Spain. I think he's only 18 or 19 years old. Right, already looking pretty good. Next box. Oakland, they beat the A's three to two. Bobby Witt Jr. solo homer gave him the lead. Otani had a solo homer today. Dodgers beat the Rockies in Colorado five to three. Astros beat the White Sox five to three. Jordan Alvarez had a 439 foot homer. In extras, a Johnny DeLuca RBI put the Rays ahead. They beat the Twins in Minnesota seven to six in ten. Guardians beat the Mariners 6-3. Diamondbacks beat the Nationals 5-2. Christian Walker had a solo homer today. And, uh, and the Padres are current, currently leading the Brew Crew in San Diego. They're up 4-1, to one, top of the fifth. Rex is asking me, I wanted to ask you who, who I prefer, Neil Young or Bob Dylan? Uh... I listen to far more Neil Young than I do Bob Dylan. But I have to admit, both of those are probably more, more like, like a greatest hits kind of artist to me. You know what I mean? I'm most likely listening to their greatest hits albums rather than like listening to albums all the way through like I would with other bands that I'm more familiar with. Bob Dylan has a giant catalog too. It's kind of hard to keep up on. All right, another box. Here we go. Okay, let's go. And there's Nick Madrigal. Another White Sox autograph going to Brian Crouch.
Oh, and a redemption. And the autograph is going to be Sam Huff and Puff and blow your house down. So go to the Rangers. It'll be for David. For, for their acoustic sets. Yeah, early Dylan was a lot of acoustic stuff until the Newport Jazz Festival where he plugged in shocking people all over the world. 75 out of 150. Setting off debates between folk artists and pure jazz artists, Rex. Remember that? Man. It, it, this was... It was probably bigger than the Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef. And what a time. Ryan Mountcastle playing some good baseball with the Orioles. All right. Next box. Some people never forgive Bob Dylan for plugging in. I do remember the the, the Skinnerd Neil Young beef. Right, yeah. This is a class. I mean, Neil Young. You know. You know, lefty woke communist from Canada and Skinnerd. Bunch of, bunch of good old right-wing boys from the South. Of course they were gonna beef. Of course they were gonna beef. What were the, the so Sweet Home Alabama and then I think Neil Young's Ohio, was it? Were, were those like the beefing song? I don't know, someone's gotta reset that beef. I mean, there was, and we got Kendrick and Drake. So what about, what about Neil Young and Leonard Skinner? Uh, ooh, look at that. Prismic Power Bryce Harper, five out of 25 on-card autograph. That's gonna go to the Phillies. David Johnson with the fight and fills. No beef with this one here. Nice. Bryce Young win another, uh, Bryce Harper, Bryce Young. Does Bryce Harper win another MVP? I feel like I asked this years before he won his most recent one. I asked people, hey, is Bryce Harper winning another MVP? And people were like, no. Here on the YouTube, our YouTube stream. Here's Aaron Judge to 399. And here's our second autograph, Dalton Jeffries, Oakland A's. That's going to be for David Lemons. 
DJ DL, both with, with autos in this box. Bren Lau, 95 out of 199. That's for Tampa Bay. That'll be for Stephen K. All right, another box. I haven't looked at the standings in a little bit. Is it time for a check-in on the standings? Oh, so Yankees and Orioles are one and two in the AL East. Orioles are half a game behind. So this is a big, big statement series for the Orioles against the Yankees here. And then I guess that's, that's it. Red Sox are 10 games back of the Yankees and Orioles. Rays are 14, Blue Jays are 14 and a half back. So AL East just coming down to Yankees and Orioles, it looks like. Um, in the AL Central, the... Uh, Guardians are six games ahead of the, the Royals. Minnesota's six and a half back. So I guess Guardians have a comfortable lead for now. But I feel like Royals, Royals could catch up. But yeah, and then, and then Tigers are 13 games back. White Sox are 28 games back. Uh, Mariners, in spite of their their very narrow run differential, plus 11, which I think is the lowest amongst all first place teams, um, are eight games ahead of the Astros, eight and a half games ahead of the Rangers in the AL West. That's 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 crazy. If, if the Mariners could find a little bit of hitting, I mean they're gonna they're gonna cruise to to the division win. I don't think the Angels are going to catch them. They're 13 half back. A's are already 16 half back. Uh, yeah, Phillies are seven games ahead of the Braves. Jeez. And then Nats are 13 back. Mets are 13 half back. Marlins are 24 back. Marlins should start trading people. Brewers are seven games ahead of the Cardinals. They have a plus 66 run differential. Look, they're cruising. They're cruising in that division. They're seven games ahead of the Cardinals, eight games and eight and a half games ahead of the Pirates and Cubs, and nine games ahead of the Reds. AL West, my Dodgers are cruising too. They're nine games ahead of Arizona, nine and a half ahead of Padres, 10 and a half ahead of the Giants, and 20 ahead of the Rockies. Rockies might trade some guys, too. Here's Victor Gonzalez. Dodgers, that goes to David. And I listened to the new Eminem and LL Cool J did a, did a duet. It was leaked on the same room Congress it was one supposed to be released. It sounded great. Yeah, not really, not really into Eminem or L Cool J. I guess Eminem's kind of a greatest hits act to me. I was playing Kershaw, you know, the greatest, the greatest hits are fine. Kersh to the Dodgers. And here's Enoli Paredes, Astros. 
I'm an M and LL Cool J? That's an interesting collab. We got some Cardinals. Captain Jack Flaherty, 89 out of 350. Stephen Kay and the Cardinals. Oh, yes. All right, last box coming up. So if all these teams are all these games back, going back to the standings really quick, what's the wild card situation looking like? So the Royals are in a wild card spot, as are the Twins. The Red Sox are actually still kind of in it because they're only a game behind a wild card spot. So are the Tampa Bay Rays. They're five, and the Jays, both five, five and a half games back of a wild card spot. I suppose even the Astros, Rangers, and Tigers are in the mix at six, six and a half games back. Could be interesting. So as of now, Braves and Cardinals, Braves, Cardinals, Diamondbacks have wild card spots, but this race is a lot tighter. There's three teams half game back, Padres, Pirates, Nationals. Two teams, one game back of a wild card, Cubs, Mets. Giants, Reds are one and a half games back. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teams that are within half and one and a half games back of a wild card spot. And the Rockies, Marlins, I don't think they have a chance. They're 11, 11 and a half games back. They've got too many teams to leapfrog, even if they do make a run. So that wild card race. Uh, is wild in the AL. That Harper Auto is sweet, Gentry saying. Last Harper Auto I pulled was out of Bowman Sterling. 2022 Bowman Sterling. It's pretty nice. Love the Sterling. box. And a redemption. And it's going to be Keegan Aiken, Baltimore Orioles. David, the other last Bob Mojo team. Now I know it's expired, but I feel like Topps is, you might have to look this up for the actual details, but Topps is extended deadlines and whatnot. So check in with them. We'll send that to you. And we got Nate Pearson. 
Blue Wave for the Blue Jays. Color match, 23 out of 75. It's Oscar with Toronto. And there's your other autograph. That's Rafael Marchand. Well, I think he's still on the Phillies, right? Filling in for JT Real Muto while he's coming back from that knee issue, knee surgery. 238 out of 499. Not sure when he's coming back, but not in a couple months maybe? I think he'll be back before the end of the season. Tariq Skubal, your current favorite for AL Cy Young, born in Vegas. And the last bits here. Pete Alonzo at the end. There you have it. That's the break. Thanks everyone for making it happen. Appreciate it. Here's a quick recap. That's Harper, as Gentry was mentioning, real sweet. There you have it. There you go. All right, now, we also have a mantle entry to give away. We're giving away one of them. Let's flip back to this list right over here. We're going to use the original 15. This, this was a one spot gets you two kind of break. So let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Name on top. After two, Snake Eyes gets the entry. Good luck. One. Then two. Matt. Congrats, Matt. After two, you've got an entry to chase the Mickey Mantle. All the details are on the website, ladies and gentlemen. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Congrats, Matt. And good luck. I'll see you next time for the next one.